What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In today's video, we're gonna actually be talking about whether or not infants are dead, and it's not gonna be through my opinion, okay? I actually brought a very special guest here. His name is Matthew, and he uh, like he, he owns a bunch of Instagram pages, has huge you know influence all over Instagram. He's been in the game for like five plus years. So I'm actually gonna have him kind of give his take on the whole are influencers dead kind of question that a lot of people are kind of asking and YouTubers are kind of saying, um, and basically just his take being you know on both sides of that spectrum, you know, having owned stores and you know owning a bunch of Instagram you know pages. Um, and kind of just getting his kind of thoughts on that. So we got my boy Matthew right here. Um, if you guys watched the last video, you actually know a little bit more about him and what he does. Um, but basically, you know, like, are, you know, like, the, when the question is asked, you know, are influencers, are, like, dead, what, what the hell would you tell them? Uh, so, like, in short, like I said in the last video, uh, I think anyone who says that influencers are dead, just doesn't know what they're talking about. Uh, I love the way you intro me, by the way. Every time you intro me, it's so great. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very special guest here. He um, so, uh, well, with influencers, the thing is, is it really depends on the niche. Like, is this influencer that you're trying to use, whether it's a theme page or a personal, are they the most fit influencer for your brand? If they're not, then the further off it is from your brand, the less likely you are to make money with it. And then the other thing is, Honestly, any influencer, whether it's a theme page or a personal, if they have a following and if it's on point with your brand, then there's literally no reason why at some price, at some cost, you shouldn't be able to at least make some sort of money. Because if your profit margin on your product, like if you're selling a, a product that's $5 on AliExpress and you're selling it for $20, that means your profit is $15 on that product. So if the influencer you're buying from can't make at least one sale for you, uh, then, then that's the only time that influencer is dead. But if they can make you at least one sale and you can, if you can get them to uh, do at least like ten dollars or less on that post for you, then you're profiting. So uh, I think it's really unfair when people say influencers are dead or they're just being lazy, mm -hmm. or uh, maybe they know influencers aren't dead and they're just saying it so that way people won't buy from influencers anymore and then they can exactly. keep all the money to themselves. Yeah. And I think like another you know question or people like that that they're concerned about right is you know with with like Instagram you know evolving and the market changing and whatnot you know and people are concerned like oh maybe this account bought fake followers or like fake engagement or some shit and like they're just worried to spend their money on accounts that they won't even reach like to the full you know, capacity that they could um, and that's in their sort of price range right like kind of do you have any like tips or like what you say? yeah actually that's a really good point that you brought up and that's probably something I'll go over on my channel at some point because it's Link like super station. important <laughs> uh, um, so with the pages that you see that have like a ton of followers like millions of followers and their activity ratios are kind of beat a lot of the times it's just because those pages have been around for so many years that people will go inactive or people will like lose their passwords their accounts and make new ones and then follow the account again or like literally anything can happen so then they have a bunch of dead followers that they can't get rid of unless they like go through and block all of them or pay for a bot to block them mm -hmm. but why would they do that why would they yeah. want to get rid of followers so um, I think it's kind of an unfair judgment when people look solely based on the engagement ratio mm -hmm. uh, rather than just looking at the likes which is what I do and which is what I have the guys in my uh, my marketing agency do obviously we look at the followers as well but like the most important thing and I always say the most important thing when you're buying shout outs is the likes well the most important thing is the niche but beyond that when you're actually just looking at the page and you're trying to determine a price or you're trying to figure out is this page going to do well for me or not you always want to look at the likes because the actual activity they're pulling in this time whatever they pulled yesterday and whatever they pulled the day before those are going to be the most accurate it doesn't matter how many followers they have or how many likes they pulled six months ago you just want whatever their activity is right now you're focusing on the now so that way you know how much money you can make off of them mm -hmm. So just to kind of like, like as an additional pointer, guys, basically like even with Facebook ads, like the, the key to Facebook, like as there isn't always just one, you know, straightforward process when you're running Facebook ads, like you have to test, you have to experiment. And a lot of that is like can be translated to Instagram influencers as well. It's like there's so many influencers, there's so many pages out there, right? It's like you have to test, you have to figure out what works for you. And I think that's also why like even like in my course or with my students and everything like that, I tell people to, I literally tell people to get a journal, right? And write down every influencer you use, the results you got from 
from that and eventually you'll build out like a almost like a like a deck of like influencers that you know will work for that have worked for your stores right and then again like that, that's like a, a slow progress but eventually like you'll have a whole catalog of influence that you know 100% work 100% have gotten you sales and then eventually you can use you know techniques or do whatever you want to buy you know, a bunch of shout outs get a lot of exposure for your stores etc just to make you know more sales um, so I guess like the, the real question you know with our influencers are dead it's, it's really just no, like if you, if you think that, then yeah. it's like you're not, you're not. Yeah, the short right. answer is literally just no. Whether it's uh -huh. personals or theme pages, it's really hard to say uh, influencers are dead because a lot of the ways that these new, I mean, literally just look at Fashion Nova. I don't, I don't, I can't think of a better example than Fashion Nova. They buy from uh, theme pages, they buy from personals, basically any type of influencer there is on any channel, they buy from them. And the reason being is they know it works. And, wow, that comes down loud. <laughs> um, and anyone who has seen Fashion Nova, well pretty much anyone who uses social media has seen Fashion Nova. So if that isn't proof enough that influencers are working, then I don't know what it is. And I think it's also interesting to note, like if you're just studying the market in general, guys, um, you know, with Instagram being, you know, like somewhat you know, like new to the whole internet space, right? And just like looking at the scheme of things, um, there's always a little bit of backlash when things start to become like lucrative, right? So like Instagram, everyone's talking about influencers, everyone's trying to use them, right? They're, they're, then there you get like a, a group of people that start, you know, pushing back against that, saying, no, Instagram influencers are not the way to go. This is the way to go, blah, 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 that kind of stuff. And I think that's kind of where we're at in the market, where it's like people are just saying, you know, no, these, you know, don't use influencers. We're actually, I think, going into 2019 and stuff, influencers are going to be huge like they're, they're oh, gonna change yeah. the whole market definitely yeah. i mean i built my whole marketing agency on just influencers like we just added in facebook ads recently i talked about it in the other video with yeah. daddy but, like, if you want to have an agency scale your stuff link is in the description boys we got you yeah. but uh yeah so that's why we just got into facebook ads recently but i've always been like so big on influencers because i know that they're super valuable and they're super great for building brands uh, if you have a drop shipping store, if you can work out an affiliate deal with influencers, if you just work out like good rates with them, I'll go over at some point, I'll go over in my channel uh, how to work out good rates with influencers. Uh, but it's as long as you can work out a deal that's going to work for your brand, it's pretty much always going to work out. Like there's these, the, it's, it's all about supply and demand. And if you have a brand that's fitting for this influencer and you're not able to make money off of them, that means that probably nobody's going to be able to make money off of them unless your content or something else sucks, which in that case you need it's more help problem. from Thaddeus. <laughs> um, but if you're not able to make money off of them at whatever you're paying them, then just pay them less. And if they're not willing to take a, a, a payment that's actually going to be profitable for you, then that's when you know that influencer just isn't going to work out for you. But most of the time you should be able to make it work. And Again, like that you said, testing is super key. So the more you test, the more you're going to learn. Like, what are your boundaries? How far can you? How much can you spend for however many likes on a page, on a shout out from a page for this specific store that you have? So uh, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Just make sure you're writing it down, whether it's in a journal, like you're a dinosaur in the 1700s, um, or you can use like you know your iPhone notes. And be a regular person in 2018. <laughs> but um, either way, it doesn't really matter. As long as you write down whatever you're testing and you keep track of everything so you can optimize for the future, influencers should most definitely work nine times out of ten. Awesome, guys. Well, you heard it from the freaking Instagram pimp himself. That was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment or respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, everything is linked down below. His channel as well, the agency stuff, the course, everything's down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See you.